Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Binta and in today's video we are going to be making some red snapper baked in the oven. Okay, we're gonna make some oven baked red snapper with some vegetables on the side. Okay, so if you'd like to see how I make this, stay tuned and watch the rest of the video. <laughs> So here is my fish and I have a very big fish right here that I got from my local grocery store. It is so big and heavy and yeah, this is the perfect fish for this recipe, okay? So I'm just going ahead to kind of like um dab it dry because it's wet as you guys can see. Just make sure I dry with some paper towel and I'm just gonna go ahead and put some incisions in my fish and you want to make sure you have a very sharp knife for this one that way your fish can stay intact because you don't want to be forcing the incision you just want to put the knife on the fish and slide okay so that's just what I'm doing and I'm gonna do this for both sides All right, so I'm patting dry again and we have done it for both sides. Now I'm taking my lemon and I'm just going to squeeze that juice onto my fish, making sure that it goes through all the nooks and crannies of my fish, which are the incisions, the belly of the fish and the head of the fish because having lemon in your fish is very important okay so if you've never tried it with lemon go ahead and do it it just gives it that juicy flavor a little bit of sourness and you know remove all the fishy smell and taste on it as well so if you've never used lemon in your fish i'm letting you know now you can never go wrong with it so as you guys can see i am squeezing as much juice as i can All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and slice the leftover lemon that we already used because I feel like we still have some juice there and we're gonna be using that later on, later on to put in the belly of our fish. So I'm not gonna throw it away, okay? So after we do that, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to my seasoning. So we're gonna go ahead and blend some vegetables and I'm blending some green onions bell peppers the red and green one and some garlic and also one ginger okay that's all we're gonna go ahead and blend right now So we're adding just a little bit of oil into our blender and we're gonna blend everything together with that. All right guys, so everything is well blended and I'm just transferring that into a clean bowl as you guys can see. So now I'm taking one tablespoon of black pepper and I add it to our blended ingredients, two tablespoons of onion powder, and we're just gonna go ahead and mix everything together. taking my uh, Maggi and adding some Maggi or bouillon cubes to it whichever one you like and we're gonna mix everything together I'm also going to go ahead and add some onion or uh, some um, 
peppers, which is going to be cayenne pepper. As you guys can see, I added one tablespoon. You want to add this to your liking or, le or tolerance level of um, heat, I believe. So, yeah, that's just what I'm doing. And we're just going to mix everything very well together before we start seasoning our fish. All right, guys. So now I'm just sprinkling some salt onto my fish. As you guys can see, this fish is pretty big. So we want to be very generous with our seasoning or salt. Not too much, but not too little as well. That way our fish does not taste tasteless okay <laughs> so yeah and now i'm gonna go ahead and just add some seasoning on it and i'm gonna start rubbing it all over my fish making sure it enters all those um incisions very well making sure it goes in the belly of the fish and the head of the fish so the better or the more your seasoning, the better your food is going to get. So do not be stingy with your seasoning. Season those fish as much as you can because you can never go wrong with seasoning. And you can never have too much seasoning as well. So why not? <laughs> Look at that. That looks so yummy already. And it's edible. I feel like it's edible at this point. It looks edible. Okay. So yeah, that's all I'm doing. Now I'm just taking some herbs and putting it inside the fish and rubbing it on my seasoning before I put it on my fish. This is just some um, parsley and uh, thyme. That's what I'm putting inside the fish. And I also went ahead and put those lemon slices in it. These are going to be so juicy in there and we want it to be really good with the herbs and the lemon it is good guys i promise you so now our fish is done and we're gonna put that aside and i'm gonna move on to my vegetable i'm just making a vegetable bed here that way my fish doesn't stick on the pan or get burnt on the pan you know which is gonna be a little bit harder if i want to flip it so making a vegetable bed helps a lot and you're gonna see what i'm talking about and i'm just slicing some onions and bell peppers basically that's it all right i'm taking some of that seasoning that we blended and just putting it on top of our vegetables and we're gonna just mix everything together with just a little bit of oil again like a quarter cup of oil so we're going to mix that very well until all our vegetables are nicely coated with the seasoning. All right, our vegetable bed is done. And now you can go ahead and just lay your fish on top of the vegetable bed. And that's what I did. Now this is perfection, okay? This is good, and I want you guys to try this out the next time you're making some big fish. Do not forget to make your vegetable bed, and you will see how easy it'll be for you to flip, okay? All right, now we're just taking that leftover seasoning that you know came out of our fish. We're just putting it in a little bowl, and we're gonna use that later at the point that we're gonna flip the fish, okay? At this point, my oven is preheated at 40, 400 degrees Fahrenheit, and we're just gonna go ahead and slide the tray inside the oven. And I'm gonna be baking for 30 minutes on one side and another 30 minutes for 
the flip side okay so let's go it is 30 minutes and we have bringing this thing out and look how juicy that looks can you guys see that so that's exactly what we want and now i'm just gonna go ahead and quickly flip it to the other side before we put it back in the oven voila so you can see what i was telling you our fish did not get stuck on the pan and you know it's still intact as we want because we don't want it to you know separate and that's exactly what we have now i'm using the leftover seasoning that i poured into my little bowl and we're just gonna put that all over the side the flip side of the fish before we put it back in the oven all right back in the oven for another 30 minutes okay and now it's been um 20 minutes or so 10 minutes before we are done i'm gonna add my super seasoning that's just another layer of seasoning it is optional if you want to see how i make it check it out on my channel it is on playing live now on my channel you can learn how to make the super seasoning it comes very handy so now we're done we're gonna put our fish on a nice plate time to eat serving for the people of my house and we really enjoy this fish this is so good and the super seasoning is amazing on top of this like i said it's optional you don't have to use it but it makes a big difference and it makes it another level guys i promise you you're gonna love it okay and you don't have to use it only on fish you can use it on anything you can use it on your onion sauce it's just an extra layer of seasoning or if you're just lazy to make your own seasoning some days you can just use it to season certain stuff so that is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed watching it like share and subscribe and of course i will see you in my next one bye guys